Hey guys, we are here with Marie Brumfield and Michaela Elshire because it is National FFA Week. And what are we learning here today, guys? We're learning how to vaccinate. Now, now, why do I need to know how to vaccinate? It could save you a lot of money, and you won't have to go to the vet. Yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, I have done this before. I have uh, vaccinated my own dogs before, and you're right, it is a lot cheaper. You can go to places like. Um, Tractor Supply and some of these other places and pick up the vaccination kits. Um, I did it with my, my puppy at one point in time, and uh, it was something a little scary to me. I'd never done it before. Uh, my wife is a nurse, so uh, she took care of all that. I didn't have to worry about it. But, you know, if anybody else is going to, how do we do this? What are, we do? what are the two different types of shots that we have to worry about? The first type is called subcutaneous. It's in the skin. Mm -hmm. And the second type is intramuscular. That's in the muscle. Yeah, I'm diabetic, so I'm, I'm used to taking, I take shots every day in the stomach, which is right right below the skin, subcutaneous or sub-Q. Yeah. So let's, what, what do we got here? Um, we have a cup full of like blue liquid, so you can see it inside the orange. And then we have the orange that we're going to be giving the vaccination to because it's kind of similar to like an animal. Okay, so like the peel is like the skin and the meat of the uh, orange is kind of like the muscle. Yeah. Okay. The first step is to obviously take the lid, well, cap off your needle, mm -hmm. and then we're going to get two cc's. Two cc's. Now, this would be like, a, instead of a cup, obviously you're uh, It'd be like, in, in a little vial yeah. type thing, okay? And uh, now that I see some, there's some little bit of air bubbles in there, is that good, bad? Bad. You would want to flick it, try to get the air bubbles out. Okay, and then for the sub Q. Okay. We want to insert the needle through just the skin part, and I'll stick it through the side so you can see it. Okay. And then you would just... Push it through. Push it through. All right, when you're done... Pull it out. It's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. So the next one is into the muscle. So if we were going to do this into the muscle, what's the big difference here? Or, I mean, instead of pushing it just a little bit through, we push it... All the way through. All the way through into the muscle. Yeah. Say like if you were doing this for like a dog, where would be the place that you'd want to shoot, you know, like if you're doing vaccinating your dog um, and you're doing a subcutaneous? Probably in the neck. In the back of the neck? Yeah, because you want to be able to pinch the skin. Mm -hmm. And that's like more the fatty place on it, I guess, because okay. you have to be able to pinch it up. And if I were doing like an intramuscular? Uh, probably. Like the hindquarters? The hip, probably. The hip or hindquarters? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, on the intramuscular, you just want to stick the needle all the way through, and mm -hmm. I'll stick it out the side so you can see it. Okay. And then you just want to push it right on through. All right. This is very cool. And this is something easy for everybody, anybody who can do this. And uh, that's it, guys. Vaccination is just that simple. So, thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, watch us tomorrow for tomorrow's segment. Thanks, guys.